This is a burqa. This is a post box. This is a woman in a red burqa with a lightsaber. This is a red post box. This is a man dressed as a post box. This is a bank robber. Boris Johnson recently compared women in burqas to letterboxes and bank robbers. Is his agenda to get more political power? Is he after something which he desires? And if he's using Muslims, the, 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 the dress uh, code of Muslims, then that is totally wrong. The women in Islam should not be used as a springboard for Boris Johnson to achieve something greater. That is wrong. In this country, we should not allow populism. Freedom of speech should be allowed within context and without the intention to deliberately offend people or attack people. It was once perfectly okay to dress up as a black person and imitate them. Now it would be deemed deeply offensive. It was once okay to dress up as a woman and imitate transsexuals. Of course, now it would be deemed equally offensive. <laughs> and it was once okay to imitate the lower classes. Now it would be deemed deeply offensive. So we get it. Times have changed. The way you can express your opinions now has completely changed. But I'm thinking, has Britain lost its sense of humour? Have we just simply made everything too unfunny now? Jeremy Corbyn recently has been under attack for his views on Jews, not for a humorous response, but for lack of action in changing his policy to match that which defines anti-Semitism. And the Tory party obviously have a massive Islamophobia, with Boris Johnson writing an article on a piece about burqas after Denmark has banned burqas there. Now I'm actually on the side of being able to say and wear what you like within context without the intention to offend somebody or deliberately deceive someone or attack somebody. And that means if Boris Johnson gets to say what he likes, then people should be allowed to wear burqas. Simple. It's inherently British to make fun of slightly more controversial situations, to poke fun, to laugh at our selves and the world around us. For example, Punch and Judy, been around since Victorian times, involves a man punching a woman. It's domestic violence and people are trying to get it banned because of it might upset children of the modern age. Now you might say that a politician's responsibility is to use political PC language and to be very responsible in the way that he speaks about certain minority community in order to not come across as racist. You know, the old Boris of old, oh, sorry, I just shagged your wife, didn't realise, oh. I'm all for the thinking that if we're allowed to make fun of the politicians, then they should be allowed to make fun of us. And if part of us is the Muslim community, then we should be allowed to make fun of it. Now, I would stress that that is within context. Obviously, I don't want to see people deliberately attacking strangers in the workplace or on the street, but whether verbally or physically. But what is Britain without free speech, open debate and humour? Let me know your opinions on the Berkey debate in the comments below and subscribe.